guys, Shane Starnes with DroidModerX.com. Last week I showed you guys how to install the tablet mode on your Nexus 7 device. And a lot of you guys said, well, why aren't you just running the Paranoid Android ROM? It's much easier and the thing is just, it flies and it's got tons of customization and you can do several different versions of the tablet mode. So I was like, yeah, I should really check that out. That sounds awesome. So that's exactly what I did. And what I've noticed is you get all the benefits of tablet mode, but you also get the ability to switch it back to regular uh, Nexus 7 mode or you can do a hybrid mode so there's several benefits to running the paranoid Android ROM first of all uh, whoever designed these wallpapers is an excellent artist so I know you're thinking like who cares wallpapers right but these are actually pretty cool uh, or at least I like them anyway so this is the paranoid Android wallpapers haven't seen anything like this before this is totally unique and this was my favorite um, another thing about this ROM is that it has excellent battery life. So like the Nexus 7 is known for having just days of battery life. But you'll see that I'm on 85%. And if I pull up settings and I go to battery, you'll see that I've been running this thing for almost two days and I'm still at 85%. Uh, so that's really not bad at all. I know that I've had the screen on. Well, we'll check it. I know it's probably not been like a ton of time. Let's see. 43 minutes, but still, two days on standby, and we're only down 15%. That's not bad, considering that we are overclocked. If we go to performance, and we go to processor, uh, you can actually overclock this thing up to 1300 megahertz, and that's what I have it set at, is 1300 megahertz. Uh, so overclocked, and we're at 85%, uh, using this thing for two days, that is really not bad at all. Uh, so other than that, we do have some settings that are included here. We do have our theme chooser, so you can actually apply any CM9, CM10, or AOKP theme from the Play Store. Uh, you just apply that on the fly. Just download it, install it, and it'll show up in the theme chooser, and you can just click the apply button, and that will apply. So a lot of you guys are happy about that. Uh, you can go into your launcher, and you have your Paranoid Android launcher. This is the same as the Trebuchet launcher from CyanogenMod 10. And uh, it has several settings in there. Most of you guys are familiar with that, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time there. Um, lock screen. Let's see. Screen security. Uh, background wallpapers. You can actually change the wallpaper on your lock screen. Uh, you can change your slider shortcuts here as well. Most of you guys are familiar with how to do this. Uh, you can swipe there and select your application. Browser. Select OK. And save. So now when I turn this screen off and back on, can go directly to my browser and let's see here we have system settings uh, not a ton to choose from here not as much as like say an AOKP or a signage mod 10 even uh, but several to choose from we go to status bar you can actually uh, move your clock to the center which is cool if you're not in uh, if you're in the hybrid mode that is it doesn't really work when you're in tablet mode because the clock is there obviously um, Status bar transparency can be changed, and you can do a notification count, which is really neat. I have that enabled there. And you can change the battery style. I have it at percent. If we go back to settings, you have your notification drawer. Um, that would be your notification drawer there. You can actually add toggles to that. And wallpaper, you can change your wallpaper there. Font size, power menu. That would be whenever you press and hold the power button, you've got your full reboot menu there. But you can also, also add some toggles to that. And then you have your navigation bar, which is here, and you can customize that a little bit. There's not like a ton of customization that you can do there, uh, but you do have some customization. The big thing here is paranoid settings. This is where you can change uh, the version of tablet mode that you're in. So if we go to workspace, you can go hybrid off stock UI and it kind of gives you a preview of what it's going to show. If you go to the phone UI small, it's just going to be like you're on a phone. Um, stock UI, that's like the way that it came out of the box. You have tablet UI small and tablet UI mid. Right now I'm in tablet UI mid. Now anytime you change this, uh, you're going to have to reboot your device. Or Actually, I think it does it automatically. I went through all of these just to test them out. It does do that automatically, so you'll have to reboot your device every time you change the tablet mode uh, user interface you have some settings there um, once again you'll have to reboot your device for those to take place you have some app settings and then you have backup and restore so once you get your tablet all set up 
and you go ahead and back it up. That way, whenever you update to the next version of Paranoid Android, you can actually go back and restore that. it grab it off your SD card, restore it uh, back to the way that you had it set up so that you don't lose any of your settings. A lot of you guys spend countless hours setting it up, customizing it exactly the way you want it, and then you never update because you don't want to go through setting it back up. That's what the backup and restore option is for. And then, of course, you have help there. Uh, so that has been Paranoid Android. A very customizable ROM is very functional, and it does include a real tablet UI. Um, you have your split screen there. Of course, you guys saw the tablet interface on the front there. Just like if you picked up your Asus Transformer Prime or whatever, it all looks about the same there. And of course, you do have your uh, notification drawer there as well. So guys, this has been the Paranoid Android ROM. I'm going to show you guys how to install it real quick. We'll just hold the power button, reboot recovery. You want to make sure that you do grab the ROM from the link in the description. While that's rebooting, I'll let you guys know that you can head over to droidmoderx.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. I'm going to be giving away some cases uh, within the next week, or at least one case within the next week. Uh, so you want to make sure that you are following me on Twitter. And uh, be subscribed to this channel because the fall is coming, and with the fall comes tons of new phone and device releases. So be assured that I will have tons of new devices to cover. I know I'm going to cover the Galaxy Note 2. I know I will be covering the Razer HD for uh, Droid forums. And I will be covering whatever HTC comes out with. If it's not locked down like crazy, um, I will probably be picking that up as well. And of course, you know, the new Nexus device, I'll try to get that as well. So lots of stuff is coming for this channel. Be sure that you are subscribed. Uh, to install this ROM, of course, you'll go to Wipe, Factory Reset, Swipe to Wipe, Cache, Swipe to Wipe, Davit Cache, Swipe to Wipe. Then you will install... Um, I think I downloaded this through Goo Manager. No, I downloaded it directly to my download folder. Where did I download it? Okay, there it is. Paranoid Android Grouper 2.15. So go ahead and grab that. Swipe to Flash. And then grab your G Apps. Wherever I put that. So you'll grab your Jelly Bean G Apps and you will flash that as well. And then you will reboot the tablet and you will have Paranoid Android on your device. Uh, so guys, that's Paranoid Android for the Nexus 7. Uh, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.